In this video, I just wanted to share a few tips and tricks dealing with serger thread and budgets. Because most sergers use four cones of thread, things can get expensive sometimes. So I thought I'd talk about how I keep my own costs down and the brand I use the most. First off, just like in painting, you often use your colors white and black the most. And I found that in serging that's true too. So I usually have four cones of black thread and four cones of white thread on hand, sometimes even extra, so if I run out then I have it. But if you sew a lot of different colors, it kind of gets too expensive to buy four cones of thread in a single color for every single color you use. And it might also bug people to just use black or just use white when you're sewing something like a red fabric or a blue fabric. A solution that I use is to invest in one cone of every color. Then you choose four of the most similar colors to use in the machine, carefully selecting the closest colors to go in the two loopers, which are the most visible threads that you'll see on the fabric. For this project, I was using red brocade, so I chose my dark red, bright red, magenta, and brown to use in the machine. You can see that on the finished project, it's very hard to tell that you use colors other than red. For this project, I had green silk, and I chose three very different shades of green that I had, along with gold in the machine. Again, it blends really nicely with the fabric's colors. As I mentioned, it matters where you put which color, and how you put your fabric through the machine. What I mean by that is good side up or good side down. So the thread color that goes through channel 3 is going to show the most on the top of the fabric, and the thread going through channel 4 is going to show the most underneath the fabric. The two needles that aren't dealing with the loopers will show the least, although if you use a brighter color, it's sometimes more prominent on channel 1 because that's like the furthest off to the edge. Let's use an example of a blue fabric that's dark on top and light on the reverse, or on the bad side. You would want to thread channel 3 with the closest matching thread, a dark blue, and channel 4 with the next blue you have. Then you would thread your two other needles with similar colors. Then, when you're putting your fabric through the machine, you put it through with the good side facing up. You'll see that the thread from channel 3 matches closer to the good side of the fabric and channel 4 matches the back side of the fabric. And that's why you want to make sure you put the closest two colors in the upper and lower looper channels. Some people are extremely picky about the thread they use in their serger and others aren't picky at all. I'm kind of right in the middle of that. I try not to use the cheapest stuff, but I go through a lot and I wanted a lot of colors, so I don't use the expensive stuff either. Uh, my favorite thread for any project is Guterman, so I use a lot of Guterman Toady Lock for my serger thread cones. They aren't extremely expensive if you catch them on sale or if you use a coupon at your craft store. They retail for around $3.99 per cone, but they're often on sale at the 50% off or buy one get one free at certain fabric stores, so be sure to stock up when you see one of those sales go on. My local store carries about 50 different colors in those cones. I don't even have all of them, and I still make do, and my serger threads still look nice and match my fabrics. I probably have about 30 different colors right now, along with a lot of black and white. This method is also good for if you run out of black and white, keep a light gray and a dark gray on hand so you can always add that in if, in an emergency. If you need to save more money or you really don't have a fourth matching color, to pick out the 1034D serger can be used with just three different colored threads instead of doing a four thread overlock. Simply don't thread channel one or the left needle. I don't think it's as sturdy as doing a four thread overlock, but it's okay for certain projects or if you're in a pinch. I hope this helps some of you. I know it's probably obvious to certain people, but it might not be obvious to everyone. Uh, as I said in my frequently asked questions video, I do plan to upload more serger stuff as time permits. Um, if this tutorial has helped you or any of my other tutorials, I invite you to tip me a dollar via PayPal to kind of help me along. Um, I have a link in the video description of where you can do that. It's super fast, super easy. If you're kind enough to do that, it would mean the world to me and it would really help. I mentioned before I have a lot of things competing for my time and I often have to spend it on the things that make me money, 
Uh, and if these tutorials start bring, generating some income, then I might be able to make even more. So that helps. Every little bit helps. And also, don't forget to subscribe, set your notifications to see when I upload a video. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of little tiny tips here and there because those are the easiest to create and shoot and upload really quick. But I will try to chip away and work at doing some longer surgery tutorials too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a good day slash night.